Hi friends, it's take two because I screwed up the intro again. I don't know, I'm having trouble today remembering my name and my channel name. So let's try this again. I'm Naomi and the channel is Fluffy Boots Crochet Creations. There, now I got it done, no good. <laughs> All right, so what are we here for today? Well, I'll tell you what we're here for. We're going to talk about some yarn. What? Yarn? On a yarn channel? What? Are you kidding me? Oh, I can't even take it. Okay, I'm done being weird. I'm probably not, honestly, because I've been weird all day. I'll be really honest. I'm like super hyper. And I gave myself a headache in my last video because I was like, you know, doing little dances. Do a little dance. Make a little get down tonight. Get down tonight. Yeah, that was weird. That was random. That was me. So, yes, we are going to talk about yarn, darling. Yarn. So, I have a couple of yarns I didn't show you that I got that I moved to where they were going. So, I'm going to show you those, and those are. From Hobie then I have another package of Hobie that I'm going to show you then I'm going to show you some yarn I got from a win in case you didn't see my live the other day and then I'm going to reintroduce you to one of my favorite yarn dyers her name is Thriss her yarn is called full spectrum yarn so hold on one magic second and then we will get going already yeah Okay, we are back. Ooh. So, let's do this, shall we? So, first of all, I am going to show you the yarn I won from a members only live that Mishi from Mishi's Corner did, my YouTube sister. Howdy. And I won this, and the funny story is. When I won it, I could not actually see what the yarn was that day. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't remember if it was my eyes or if my computer was being like, I don't want to show you anything. So when she showed it all, I saw what it, it was ombre. I was like, oh, cool. I love that. Yes, let's do it. So then I got it and I'm like, ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty. So you ready? Oh. <gasps> It's purple. It's actually more um, a deep blue purple than it's showing here. Showing it more of a violet. It's not really a violet. It's more of a deep. I would almost say it's grape. If you can think of the grape crayon color. That's a good one to remember. So let's talk about it. It's Cotton Kings. It is their Sultan. This is the regular Sultan. They have three different. I think they have three. Is that right? Hold on. I think they have three. It could just be two. I'll correct myself. Yeah, I'll just put it down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cotton King Sultan is 100% cotton, which kind of makes sense since the first name is cotton. That's not good. There is 200 grams, 800 meters. It is a size two. I 100% agree with that. And now the difference with Salt and King compared to Twister or some others, which is perfectly fine with me, it is not wound together or twisted. They, the yarn is actually, let's see if I can get this to show better. There we go. It's strands that are put together so it is recommended when you use this to put a bead so that the strands stay together perfectly fine it's very nice yarn it's such a nice cotton I cannot wait to work with it I'm not sure what I'm making with this one though yet I have to still kind of think it's it's gonna be fun to figure out we'll see okay 
yeah. And because, you know, she's such a sweetheart, I don't know if she even watches my videos, but that's okay. Because I'll just tell her. I got candy, and she loves these candies. And I got two this last time, and I got one in the order before that I had already put aside. So I am planning a surprise for her that she doesn't know about. Hence the word surprise. Naomi, that was, I don't know why you said, I don't know. I don't know. Do you guys know? I don't know. He's a weird person. <laughs> Anyways, I'm so planning a surprise for her. I'm going to stick the candies in there as a secondary surprise so that she'll get a little bit of a sweet tooth satisfaction. I, I, I like the candies myself. I'm just, I'm really trying hard to cut back on my candies, but then I have to show you this. No judges. <laughs> you see? <laughs> it's a jar of cop stoppers. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I old schooled it again. I, I was having memories of buying boxes of gobstoppers and I'm sorry, the neighbor kid is running down the sc street screaming for no reason. They do that all the time. It's very sad. Um, anyways, when I used to quilt our crochet, anything like that, sorry, I keep getting notices and because my phone is, you know, hor um, horizontal, and the notices come vertical, I have to keep going like this. So that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> Just have to, I'm trying to make sure I don't miss a notice because I'm waiting on my daughter to stop in. Any who's nanny, where was I in my conversation? Oh, wow, I really lost my train of thought. Oh, when I used to quilt all the time and, you know, we're talking long hours of sitting in the sewing machine and pulling, pushing the fabric through or you're ironing your fabric or you're cutting it. Um, I wanted something to suck on. And this is back when like early nineties forward, I didn't have diabetes, which I have now, unfortunately. And it was back before we really, really understood sugar, how bad sugar really was for you. And so I would have, I had this heart shaped box of gobstoppers and I loved them. My daughter loved them and it was better than eating a chocolate while you're trying to crochet because you just pop one in your mouth and, or two. I've tried six. I do not recommend six at one time. I tried it the other night and right at, you know, the moment that they were starting to dissipate or whatever, um, I coughed and one started to go down the road and I was like, oh, no, good joke. I'm like, I don't want to be found with golf stoppers in my mouth. <laughs> I don't know. I'm silly that way. I'm very weird. I won't ever do six again. That that was too much. That was a little too scary. I don't have a very big mouth. You're like, yeah, right, Naomi. We see a jaw gathering. I don't. It's it's tight. Well, I lost it again, didn't I? <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right. How about we move on to Hobie, our hobby. Whichever way you want to say it. Because I've always called it Hobie. I hear people call it hobby. I don't know. I just, I just say it the way it looks. So, I bought three yarns the other day from them. These are the Twister Solids. Now, before I show you, I'm going to tell you what they are. They're 55% cotton, 45% acrylic. These are so soft. I've been using Twister for the last two months now. And making Charles and I love working with them I really do they're awesome and this is one of Hobie's um, yarns that they make the color is called 150 
because why would we name a color a name when you can use a number? I don't know. It's 100 grams. It's 400 meters, 437 yards, 3.5 ounces. They recommend a 3 to 4 knitting needle or a 3.5 to 4 crochet hook. And it is a two. Now, this yarn can be washed, but they don't recommend um, dryer. So it's a lay flat, which is fine. It's, it's going to be, this yarn is going onto a shawl that has beads on it. So I wouldn't even consider doing anything but hand washing and I have to find very um, soft gentle soap because it does have natural beads on it gemstones so yeah I have to be very careful but this is the color it's a turquoise it doesn't really show it it looks much more bright on the camera but it's not it's it is a dirt turquoise it's more like um Think of Caribbean seas, kind of that rich blue green, but more heavy on the blue. So that's this one. That's for the one shawl over there. And then I got this yarn for my asymmetrical um, shawl. But when I bought it, um, the funny thing is is I'm probably tearing what I've done for that out because I came up with another idea for it and it will eventually get done. It will. Because I don't like to have a lot of... I have, at this moment, whip-wise, I have... I have seven whips right now that I need to finish. Some of them are really close to being finished. I don't know why I haven't done them. I just haven't. Someone's still in the process of. But I bought this. This is a navy. It's a very deep, dark navy. It is honestly just a tad darker than you're seeing it here. It's a beautiful, deep navy. And I bought it because I came up with an idea for the, the asymmetrical shawl. And I knew I was going to need more yarn. And this is the outer color. So I bought that. So I could do that. Because. You know. I have to get everything done. In time. Have you ever made something that you're. You're making. And you're, you're not even close to the end. You're like maybe. I don't know. A third of the way done. And all of a sudden you go into panic. Because you're like. Oh my God, I don't think I have enough yarn. And you start freaking out. And so you're either buying more yarn, you're pulling yarn around and then you finish it and you realize, yeah, I was fine the first time. <laughs> that happened on a blanket I did. That happened on a um, top I made. <laughs> the top ended up hardly taking nearly as much uh, yarn as I thought I was going to do take. It took like one because it's not a full it was just a crop top one it's a very pretty I love it anywho's nanny yeah so just to be on the safe side I went ahead and bought that yarn oh and while I'm thinking about it before I carry on so I am going to be doing some mystery boxes at the end of June sorry I had to stop and think when I decided um, I don't have a lot of hand dyed yarn I'm putting in because most of my hand dyed was bought for a purpose, but I do have some, I have some wool select that will go in. I have some acrylic in bags that have never been opened because I bought them for a project. I, as much as I love to keep them for the project, my yarn's a little bit too much for me right now and I'm kind of feeling like it's closing <laughs> every day I feel like it's growing <laughs> well it is kind of sort of yeah but yeah I have some acrylic and I have some wool um I 
don't know if there'll be any cotton in there, but I am putting together these boxes. They're not going to be huge boxes. I won't know everything I'm doing with them until the end of June. And at that time, I'll give you all the deets on it so that you can see if you want to be a part of it or not. And it's not going to be like a lot of boxes. There's, I mean, because I have a lot of yarn, but I don't have a lot, if that makes any sense. Probably not, because that didn't even make sense when I said it. How about we move on? <laughs> okay, so the next yarn I had bought was to help me with the shawl that I'm working on now, because like I said, I panic and... I'm like, oh my god, I don't think I'm going to have enough yarn. Now I'm probably going to have a lot of this <laughs> left over. Which is okay too, because if I do, I have another idea for it. So it's called um, Manarolia from World of Yarn. It's 100% Premier Acrylic. Very nice yarn. It is 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 240 meters, 262 yards. It is a light three. They suggest a four to 4.5 knitting needle and a four to 4.5 crochet hook. I'm actually using a 5.5, sorry. Have a look and see what I was using. And you can wash it, but they do not suggest ironing, which I don't know why anyone would iron yarn. Um, no ironing, no washing machine, so it's going to be lay flat to dry, which is fine. So it's this. The color is called rainbow. On here it's called one, but when you look on the, the thingamajigger, it's called rainbow. So it's very pretty. I use this on my llama from January for the Judy's Creations in crochet make along. I think it was January I made the llama. This was her hat and her um, blanket. But it's got all the colors you could ever want. The yellows are really pretty. The blues, the pinks, the purples. It's just gorgeous yarn. It's looking really pretty in this and I came up with an idea last night for the shawl and I'm like, oh yes, 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 yes. Can I do that right now? <laughs> But I couldn't, I'm not, I'm, it was like for like 20 rows in the future. I'm not there yet. So I kind of was like bummed because I was like, I want to do that now though. But I can't, I have a, I have a plan, I have a vision and a plan for the shawl and it will make it, but I only have eight more days to finish it. Lord, why do you do this off to me? Or why do I do that to me? I don't know. Kind of lost that there. All right, so the other bag of Hopi I just got today. Um, it's been out in the mailbox for a few days. I don't always go to get my mail right away because sometimes I just don't feel like it. <laughs> Let's just be honest. So it is um, more cotton yarn because I'm in the cotton yarn kind of mood right now. And I'm trying to decide which one to start with. There's so much. How about we do some more cotton king? Now, this one I bought, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it. I just thought it was pretty. I wanted to try it. So, it's another one of the Cotton King Sultans. So, it's 100% cotton. 200 grams, 800 meters. It is a, a fine. It's 2.5 to 3.5 needle. 3.5 to 4, and it's very, very pretty. What? Yeah. It's not showing as green as it is. It's more of a green teal, so not quite a turquoise. Maybe I would say a green aqua, but it's pretty. It's very pretty. And as you can see, it's got the easy start up here. And that is because, like the other one, this is strands. It's not wound together. Or it's wound together. It's not twisted together. Wound together. Really? 
Where did you get wound from? I don't know. Don't ask me. Stop asking me the hard questions, Naomi. Gosh dang you. Oh, she's so rude. I tell ya. Alright, anyways. That's this one. Okay? Now, I got another cotton candy. I think I only... Yeah, I only got two cotton candies. Hope he had these on sale. I don't... You know what? Let me go look real quick. Hold the phone. Let me go look and see. Because I do not recall if they're still on sale. I think they are. But who knows? Because I get confused. Like, all the time. Like, almost daily. Well, not almost daily. Oh, it's only on sale for tonight. So, then they'll probably have a new sale. But right now, these are 10 1050 I believe it is, for these ones. And the other one I bought, I do have a plan for. I have a very distinct plan. And all I'm going to say about this is think. but a gothic fall. You could even think gothic uh, summer if you want, but it's a gothic fall. Isn't that pretty? I don't remember which one this was. But I really love the black going into the white. Now they had it reversed where it was black on the outside into the white and it had a little bit more gray. But I really, I looked at them for, I probably looked at these yarns for a good 10 to 15 minutes going back and forth of which one do I think I really want. And I decided that I really wanted this because the vision I have in my head for what I'm going to do with it I think will look phenomenal in this. And I'm really hoping that I bought enough yarn because I, if I didn't, I just need more white more black. I don't know. I may have to buy one more. See, I haven't even started and I'm already second guessing how much I've got to make. Naomi Ann, just, just do it, man. Just do it. Sorry, I'm being weird. Okay. <laughs> Two more yarns from Moby. So the next one I bought is another cotton. Like I said, I bought all cotton this time. This is from Hobie. It's their Dahlia yarn. It's 100% cotton. It is 200 grams, 7 point ounces, 800 meters or 874 yards. It is a 2. It is recommended 2.5 to 3.5. Knitting needles are 3.5 to 4 point millimeters. Now, they say you can wash it and you can iron it. I wouldn't iron it. Even though it's a cotton, I wouldn't iron it. I wouldn't. It's another lay flat to dry. Now, the reason I bought this is I'd actually bought a knit pattern. <laughs> I know. I don't even knit right now, but I bought the pattern, and I love the pattern, and I thought it was pretty. They said you only needed um, one spool of it, and I'm like, okay, I'll buy it. Yeah, why not? And I don't remember what this is called, but it's really pretty. And I just, I was just like, oh, I love that. So I bought this because I'm not necessarily going to make the shawl that I bought the pattern for in this. Sorry, we got an alarm going off. Okay. As I was saying, I don't know if I'm going to make that shawl that is a knit one at the moment. It is a fairly simple one, but knitting does take longer, obviously. And I don't want it to take me 20 years. <laughs> I doubt it would take me that long, but it would take a while. So I may recreate that shawl style into a crochet one. I'm not sure. Or I may just design something completely different. I only bought one. I may go back and buy another, same as the the black one, because these two I do have more of an idea with. The green one, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with this one quite yet, but I'm sure it's going to be really pretty when I get it done. 
Okay, so the last Hobie yarn I bought was another Twister because I've really developed a very deep like for these. These were on sale for 1970, I believe. Uh, this is 55% cotton, 45% acrylic. It's a two, a fine. It takes, um, or it's, well, I really lost that one. 250 grams, 8.8 .8 ounces. It is 1,000 meters or 1,094 yards. There is, they recommend a three to 3.5 millimeter needle or a four to 4.5 hook. It can be washed. It can be laid flat. They say you can dry it again. I don't know why you would, or not dry it, but iron it. I don't know why you would. Um, I would be just way too nervous <laughs> to do that, honestly. Now, this one, again, is another one I'm probably going to buy the solid for, but since this is not one I plan on doing probably before the beginning of, let's see, we're almost at the end of May, so probably not till the, uh oh, hold on one second. Sorry, I had to restart the video because my daughter called and I forgot my phone won't switch over. So, um, like I said, I'm probably going to buy the outer color in this again when they have the solids on sale. I'm most likely not starting this till September, October, somewhere in there. It's another one that's for me. It's for another design one. If it gets done before that, awesomeness. If not, that's okay because I'm on my own schedule. I'm deciding when I make things, when I design, when I release them. There's no one else. There's no rush. So let me show you. Ready? I know that you guys are probably going to be like, oh, really you had to buy another one yes i really did do you know why <laughs> because black is one of my favorite colors black and green and there goes the alarm again gosh dang it are you okay did i hit you i don't think i hit you did i sorry if it it goes like that my cat is right underneath the cord oops and there it goes again are you okay honey you can't lay there <laughs> Anyways, it is a black and gray mitt. Whoa! She wants to eat the cord now. <laughs> it's a black and gray one. This is another one, like I said, that I have planned for the fall. I am not going to say anything about what it is right now because, you know, I just want to keep some things a surprise. And I will just talk about them when they get started so that you can see them. Um, that way you aren't like, oh, well, you mentioned that way back when, and now you're doing it. Just know that you will see this in something, and you will see this in something. These two are most definitely for the fall that I'm designing. This one is, however, more towards winter, probably, to be honest. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to keep hitting that. Okay, stop touching everything. All right, so that's that. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to reintroduce you in case you have kind of forgot about a really great person who does some fantastic dyeing job. We all know her. We all love her. Well, I hope you all know her because she's awesome and you really should. And I'm going to put her link to her channel down below because... Really, honestly, you will love her to death. Her name is Thriss. She does full spectrum yarn. And I thought I had another birthstone, but now I'm like, but do I? Do I have another one? Actually, hold on. Let me, let's just stop for a second. Be right back. Okay. I double checked. I don't have the march at the moment. I forgot. <laughs> I get... I get sidetracked in what I order sometimes, and with Thrist, she knows with me that I trust her. I know she'll get to it when she can get to it, so she has my list. 
you know, she, she and I talk on a regular basis, so I know that when, sorry, one second, I guess I'll be restarting this one again too. Hi guys, I'm back. I know that I left off on Thriss, um, talking about her yarn, the Desgrotto, and that I had pulled it. I have two of these ones for a project that I came up with and I, I'm just in love with the idea. I can't wait to start on it. Yes, I have a lot of projects planned. I swear I have projects planned for like the next seven years. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. I'm not. Sorry, I have been, since I had to stop the video before my daughter came and got me, then we were looking at the car, and it's going to be more than I thought, and when we were figuring out how to do that, then I had to make dinner, and I haven't even eaten dinner, but I wanted to finish this video so that we can get you guys having something to watch, because you guys like to watch me for some weird reason. I, not arguing. I love it. I'm so glad you guys like me. Indy, who's nanny? So, that was from last year. Let's look at this year. Now, I am not sure where I put March's sub box yarn <laughs> at the moment. I know it's here. Like, it's not like I've misplaced it. Can I help you, ma'am? Sorry, my cat is pawing at my hand because she wants into, um... A sack that's over here and she's going to knock this over so let me pause this for a sec all right my cat started getting into everything as you can see there's an ear that's the diva she's sitting there she started trying to open the yarn and a sack that has crinkles on it and she's just like "Ooh, mom crinkle crinkle <laughs> um i'm not real sure where i put the march one i think it's in a box for the ready to starts i'm uh, have an idea with that one so I don't want to mess up where it's at but today is I'm gonna fix that oh, there we go hi Naomi you're not like this <laughs> um, I have a an order coming from Thris that when she gets to it she'll give it she'll send it to me so I don't have it at this moment but I will have it at some point soon <laughs> I trust Thris. I know she will send it when she has time. I'm not worrying about it. Um, she's she's such a sweetheart. She has so much on her plate right now. God bless her. And, you know, so I just want to talk about her. Because she does wonderful work. She's a good friend. So, yes, I'm probably biased, but I don't care. So. Let's start with, it's it's not organized very well right now. Um, this one hank apparently came undone. I didn't realize it when I pulled it out. So let me re-hank it for quick. I thought it was ready to go, but it wasn't. Okay, I'm not very good at it. but So this is the one from December. It's not gorgeous. Let's see it. No. Hello, Naomi. So it's got your deep navy and your lighter colors and it honestly reminds me of like a starry night you know just a little bit of that twilight here's your twilights going into the dark where it's going towards midnight and you got just a little bit of shimmer of the stars yeah I have two of these I'm not a hundred percent sure quite yet what I want to do with them I do know that whatever it is, is going to go look absolutely stunning. This is fingering weight as well. I love her yarn. She's She really does. She has a beautiful base that she uses. I think she said it's 19.5 microns, I think. Which I know from my needle felting time is that means it's... In, in an inch, it's, um, as far as fibers go, the fibers are closer together. I think that's right. 
Did I do that right? Yeah. They're closer. I'm sorry. It's been a while since I've done needle felt felting and knew all the jargon for it. So let's not quote it because I will mess it up. Let's just say it's beautiful yarn. It's gorgeous yarn. The colors are gorgeous. You really, you would not be misled in buying one. Now, Thriss is a dyer in her home. So she doesn't have like, you know, like the big old guys who have, you know, vats upon vats going up and down hallways or however they do in the big stores. She's a uh, independent dyer. So gorgeous. It means that each hank is its own little work of art. And I love that. But I will say for an independent dyer, she is pretty dang tootin' close on getting them spot on because you know why? she does usually two hanks in a pan so you can't go wrong seriously you can't trust me I would not steer you wrong when it comes to yarn because I know yarn can be an investment and we don't all have you know the ability to buy however much you know some people can't buy yarn they they have to go to thrift stores and stuff which is cool you know you can find some good buys there and some people just rely on donations from other people um, I've been fortunate enough to be able to invest in my love of yarn and I'm very thankful for that so her boy now I gotta remember I don't want to misquote her sub box prices so I will put a link to her channel where she talks about her sub boxes and the birthstones and you can see the gorgeous colors she does you can also check out her channel for her hand dyeing because she does do dyeing on camera which is awesome it is so cool watching someone dye the yarn and she's talking you can hear the talking and I'm just like I'm not alone I talk to myself all the time while I'm crocheting I started saying knitting <laughs> so anyways I have two birthstones here uh, just the January and February because I had to do a late order on the March first stone. Right? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. So, January, which is the garnet. It's a beautiful, beautiful red. It's very rich. It's got the tonals in it, so it gives you that look of... Whoa! <laughs> She's... We almost went on a trip. My cat sat on my cord. Hi, Izzy. Hi. So, Izzy, can you move, please? I can't even move my hand at the moment. Yeah, hold on. Hi. I thought she was going to take the whole setup with her. My phone and my stand, and I had yarn on there, and it was just like, uh oh, I'm going to move that. But then she decided she didn't want to sit there anymore. Because I was like, you know, pointing at her and she doesn't like when I point at her. She wants me to let her just do her thing and then she'll tell me when it's okay to pet her. Hi. Where are you going? Are you going to sit now? Okay. Hi, pretty girl. You're such a good girl. Yes, you are. Is he busy boo? Yes, you. So sweet. All right. Back to the yarn. So, whoops. <laughs> I referred to So, Garnet. And it does look like a gemstone with all the deep tonals in there. And now she just discovered that the camera's up there. Oh! Hi, we went on another trip. <laughs> Isn't that fun having cats? <laughs> I think I'll hold it with one hand. No, please don't do that, Izzy. Izzy? Izzy? Hi. Can you not do that, baby? This is amethyst. And as you can see, it looks pink on the camera. It is not pink. It is a purple. It's a uh, kind of pinky purple. But it looks much lighter here than it actually is. It's actually a very beautiful, deep purple. I love this one. And I was really sad. I'm not going to even lie. I was so sad. In February, I didn't see the sub box right away. I just knew that she was doing the amethyst. So I was just like, ooh, I want that. And then after the fact, I think it was... Crystal 
that showed the February sub box with the beautiful pastel and I was like, oh, are you kidding me? I should have bought that. <laughs> but that's okay because she, she, I just love all of her yarn, you know, and I think it's beautiful. I think it's phenomenal. I love that these DKs are a little bit different than, well, this is fingering. So that was a stupid statement. Never mind. I think I've been up too long. <laughs> I think that's a sign of me needing to stop talking. <laughs> these are DK. Yeah. I did get two of each, so um, I have enough to make my dragon. And then I want to use another hank of the burst stone for something else. I haven't quite decided yet what I want to do with it. I want to wait till I get them all here and look at the hanks together and then decide how I want it to look. Sorry, she's chewing on the tag on the blanket. I have my setup on her sleeping spot and she's not happy. So anyways, that is everything for today. Can you believe it? It only took me four flipping videos <laughs> to tape one <laughs> or to record one. Sorry. Anywho, so if you are new here, please consider subscribing. You, you will probably like it. I am guaranteed to be rather goofy on a regular basis. I just am. I can't help it. Sorry, I keep looking out because I thought I saw some. Um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and a comment. Even if you just give me a heart or a smiling face or anything, it just helps with the algorithm. So, my friends, new and old alike, I will see you again next time. I don't have a a cool catchphrase. People try to help me get a catchphrase, but honestly, I, I I won't remember them. I would probably use like one that's 10 years old for someone else before I remembered. I, I don't think of things very well. Anywho's nanny. Until next time, my friends. The neighbors walk by. <laughs> Until next time, I will see you then. Bye for now.